Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this beautiful bold cut crease makeup look paired up with some mauve nude lipstick. This YouTube video was done in collaboration with Maven Beauty. Maven Beauty is a new company that released its makeup I believe in October 2020 and they're exclusively sold at Fashion Nova. The Fashion Nova is a well-known brand for its outfit and now they have the separate section that sells uh, Maven Beauty products as well. Price-wise, they are very affordable but the quality is just unbelievable and of course I'm going to show you some of the products that they sent me. Um, they were actually very kind enough because I happened to reach out to them because I wanted to try out their products and since I have a YouTube channel this is my opportunity to show you uh, some of the products that some of these companies releases. So I was super excited so I'm going to show you and go right into the tutorial. So this is the box that I have received their brand logo and that is the color of the brand that they are into. Now once you open this box obviously you have a lot of confettis and also you have this packed up amazing goodies. So I'm going to show you first their quad eyeshadow palettes. So there are, there are four eyeshadow palettes. This is the medium blend. The colors are very beautiful as you can see. And I love the packaging. It's very transparent and then it has this orange border. So the first one is soft blend, then you have the bold blend, then you have the define, then you have the soft spotlight which is the shimmer eyeshadows. Then they also have this cream eyeshadows which are amazing and they come in different colors. So first thing I'm gonna go ahead and apply one of the eyeshadow which is the cream eyeshadow which is going to also act as my base for today's eyeshadow from for the whole makeup routine. The first color is called Alpaca, which is, I believe, like a nice um, vanilla shade and it acts as a beautiful base for my eyeshadows. Next, I'm going to start with my eyeshadows. The first color I'm going to be using is this one from the Soft Blend palette and I'm going to apply that all over my top crease area. Next, I'm going to take this color from another palette, which is, I believe, called a medium blend, and I'm going to apply that all over my crease. Now, it's a little darker than the other one because you have soft blend and this is the medium blend. And I'm going to also bring that on the bottom of my eyes as well. Now from the next palette, it's called the Bold Blend. I'm going to take that orangey shade and apply that on my crease. Now as you can tell, I like to work from light to dark. So instead of taking a dark color and blending it and keep blending it, I decide to always take a series of colors. So it's always from light to medium dark to, you know, like the darkest. And then I like to create that gradient of shade. Next, I'm going to use this cream eyeshadow that I've used earlier in the shade Alpaca and I like to put it on the bottom of my lid and then sort of look up to see where it's going to hit on my crease because I don't want my crease or lid color to later spread all over my crease and because it's a cut crease, we want to make sure our crease is clean and crisp. So you always want to put it on the bottom of your lid and then kind of look up to see where exactly your eye touches and that's exactly from where you want to create the line on your crease. That's an easy way to do a cut crease on yourself. Taking this gold shade from the Spotlight Blend palette, I'm going to now dab that color on top of my entire eyelid and that is basically the space that I've created using the eyeshadow, uh, cream eyeshadow. So it's going to be all over that crease, um, like the cut crease area in the middle. And you want to always dab the color. If you want, you can spray some Fix Plus to get the most of it. But the colors are pretty pigmented, so I didn't worry about it. Next, I'm going to use this Maven eyeliner, which is their liquid eyeliner in black. And they have this like little cap, which you want to toss it out. And then 
put it together and then start twisting the bottom. Once you start twisting the bottom, you will see the color starts popping out from the tip of it. It's a perfect eyeliner, I'll have to say. There's no chance for it to dry out because, you know, whatever amount you need, you can just twist and you know, bring out the amount. The remaining of the eyeliner sort of stays intact and it prevents it from drying. Sometimes when the color reaches all the way to the lid and it stays open like that, it tends to dry and it becomes very hard. But this was very easy. It was almost like applying a perfect liquid liner. And look how beautiful it's gliding. And that's why I wanted to actually use these eyeliners because I was fascinated by the way it works. So here I'm just creating a line from that cut crease area and joining it with the outer corners of my liner. So once I'm done creating this guideline, I'm now going to go into the palette called Define and take this darker brown shade and start creating that transition from the that eyeliner to the crease you know so you don't want the eyeliner to look that prominent without blending it out so you want to start applying a little bit of that brown around the eyeliner so kind of bring it on the bottom and around the eyeliner on the top and always use a very skinny little brush and go ahead and use a little fluffier brush to blend it out again and I'm going to do the same thing even on the bottom of my eyeliner if you can see it like there and then I'm going to bring it down like so. Once done I'm going to take this flat brush and use that color from the same defined palette. This is a black shade so I'm now going to start creating a transition. So keep your bl uh, brush, not blush, brush flat and kind of drag the color out into the transition color almost transitioning it from a darker eyeliner to darker black to faded black and then brown and then you have your brow bone colors which is you know that crease color that you have created earlier if you want you can diffuse diffuse the eyeliner out on the inner corners as well I like to keep it as is just blend it out the harsher edges and that's it once that's done, I'm going to take these highlighters. This is the highlighter called Draped Out, which is kind of like a silverish kind of tone. I don't think so, hold on. It's kind of a champagne silverish kind of tone. So I like to apply that on the inner corners and on my brow bone. It is super duper shiny. And here I'm just blending it out so everything looks more blended and seamless. I'm going to do the other eyes and once I'm done, I'm going to start working on the remaining. So taking this orange shade again from the bold blend, I'm going to apply that a little bit on that crease to bring that warmth into my eyes. You can totally, totally skip this part, but I decided to go ahead and be extra. So now taking this other eyeliner, it is called the 24K, which is a gold eyeliner. Same thing, I'm just twisting it out to get the gold. And as you can see, it's super duper pigment and oh my gosh, loving it. Here I'm just defining my inner part of my lid, making the cut crease appear a little bit more dramatic. I want that shimmer, shine to it, so I'm using actually my eyeliner because I figured the eyeliner is super duper pigmented, so I was dying to use it, so I'm like, hmm, how do I use it? So I decided to use it on the inner part of my cut crease. You don't totally have to, but I'm extra, like I said, and these makeups, I wanted to give it a try. I just received it. I haven't played with it at all. This is my first time creating this video and playing with them, so I was like, I'm going to have to use as much as the product as possible. I'm going to apply that on the, on the bottom of my eyes as well. This always brightens up the inner corners and also opens up my eyes. I'm just like totally in shock because I'm loving it. I didn't think the cut crease is something that suits me. I really don't think cut crease is something that suits me but I guess I'll have to change my mind on this one because this totally looked amazing. So there's one gold one which is called Dripped Out. That's the one that I'm going to use as my highlighter today. And same thing I'm going to apply that on the higher points of my face and as you can see that shine Oh my gosh, it was so instant and I the highlighter looked 
amazing on me and because of I guess because of the gold shade it suited my skin so much better and that looks so nice and it glided onto my skin like a butter so everything was just perfect one thing I have to say about the eyeshadows that I forgot to mention usually if I'm using a black eyeshadow on my eyes I like to always do my base later and then apply um, you know like I always like to do the eye makeup first and then do my base because of the black eyeshadow but this makeup look I have used so much black on my eyes but I have to say there was not a single fallout because I actually did my foundation before even starting this makeup look and I was kind of worried I'm like oh my gosh I, I am going to play with black eyeshadow is that the right thing I did but I have to say though that the black eyeshadow there was absolutely no fallout but it was at the same time super duper pigmented so very proud of the con consistency and the the product for sure here I'm just going over my glue with some little more eyeliner and making my eyes a little bit more prominent I want the eyeliner to look more darker deeper and bolder I also like to sharpen up my inner corners now that I've already applied some highlighters. And it's time for some lipstick. So there are five different colors that I've received. The two colors that I'm going to be using, it's called Sus and Thrills. So those are the two colors that I'm going to mix and match. So one is a little darker, which I'm going to be using on my outer corners. And then one is a little lighter, which is the one I'm going to be using on my inner part of my lips. Did I, did I just say outer corners? I meant to say outer lips around the border of my lips and then I'm going to use the remaining on the inner part of my lips. Next, taking this bold blend eyeshadow, I'm going to use that as my blush. See how versatile I am and I can make makeup so much more versatile so yeah that's what I'm doing today I just wanted to finish up the look with some warmth and I didn't I was too lazy to bring out a blush so I thought why not I just use this as my blush but I have to say it definitely looked really good it just finished up the entire look together so this is it guys this is the final look of this makeup look I hope you enjoyed this eye makeup tutorial together with the lip combos I wanted to do this makeup look for so long and I wanted Maven to send me some products so I can do it but honestly God has listened Maven has listened to me they were super kind enough to send me these products and I'm so happy and I'm so honored and I feel super privileged I know but honestly thank you Maven beauty without this without you guys it won't have been possible thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed this if you want to check out their products head right to fashion nova website i'm going to link it down below for you guys to have a look but yeah hope you have enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and thank you so much i'll see you on my next video until then take care and stay safe